Hey guys, this is Arun aka TG from GadgetGuruBN.com. Today we'll be doing the review of Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. It is a flagship device from Samsung which launched in India for 81,999 rupees and will be available starting 29th of this month. Special thanks and mention to Channel 9 for sponsoring the device. Without it, this video would not have been possible. Pre-order this device at Channel 9 to get benefits up to 17,000 and visit the retail store for demo experience. So before we get started with this review, subscribe to ABN World with notifications on, follow me on Instagram to never miss future updates, also check out my one link solution where you can keep track of all smartphones to compare and buy your favorite smartphone all in one place. Let's dive in. The box content includes the device itself, Type-C cable and SIM tool. Just like the newer iPhones, this device too does not include charger in the box. The design is premium and classy which looks great in this phantom violet color. It is also available in phantom black and phantom silver colors. The form factor includes following dimensions and weighs 200 grams. The build quality from the glass metal sandwich is excellent which feels solid and offers excellent in and feel. It is also IP68 certified for dust and water resistance. The display features 6.7 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED panel with HDR10 Plus that offers excellent quality and the panel features 120Hz adaptive refresh rate which is super smooth. The display offers excellent colors, contrast and dynamic range along with great sharpness. Also the sunlight visibility is excellent from this panel and it also features always on display. The hardware features Samsung's Exynos 2100 5nm SoC with 8GB RAM and 128-256GB storage which is not expandable. It comes with all the important sensors including barometer and gyroscope. Also the in-display fingerprint scanner works very well. The software features Android 11 with Samsung's One UI 3.1 interface which includes traditional Samsung launcher with app drawer, Samsung specific apps and more. There are few pre-installed apps out of which some of them can be uninstalled. The connectivity features include dual band Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5, GPS, USB Type-C 3.2, NFC, 5G, dual SIM with dual 4G, voice over LTE and voice over Wi-Fi, Samsung Pay, Samsung DeX and Bixby Assistant. The audio quality from the stereo speakers and via Bluetooth earphones is great. Also the volume level is great but loudspeaker volume could have been slightly higher. The overall performance is excellent, interface is super smooth, web browsing experience is excellent, apps and games load very quickly, multitasking is excellent and my favorite part, the RAM management is great but could have been better. Also when it comes to gaming, the performance is excellent in very high graphics settings with super smooth gameplay and very consistent frame rates from both the games as per 9 and Call of Duty. The triple rear cameras features a 12MP primary lens with f1.8 aperture, a 64MP telephoto lens with f2.0 aperture and a 12MP ultra wide lens with f2.2 aperture while the front camera features a 10MP primary lens with f2.2 aperture. The rear camera can record videos up to 8K at 24fps while the front camera can record videos up to 4K at 60fps. 
These are the additional camera features on offer along with single text feature. In daylight, the camera performance is overall excellent with plenty of details, colors and great dynamic range. Recording this part of the video on Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus main camera in Full HD at 60fps. Recording this part of the video on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus front camera in Full HD at 60fps resolution. In low light, the camera performance is overall pretty good but could have been definitely better. The battery capacity is 4800mAh. During my quick intensive usage, I was able to extract 3 hours of screen on time with 38% battery left from initial 92%. So if you are a heavy user, you can expect up to 6 hours 30 minutes of average screen on time which is pretty great but could have been definitely better considering the battery capacity. And it also supports wireless charging at 15 watts, reverse wireless charging at 4.5 watts and USB power delivery 3.0 So these are the pros and cons For product rating I would rate 8.65 out of 10 For VFM rating I would rate 6.4 out of 10 And Gadget Kurubian rating should be 7.52 out of 10 After considering all the pros, cons and ratings, it's an excellent smartphone at a premium price but on the whole, it is still a pretty great smartphone for sure. That's it for this video. I hope you found this review useful. Also stay tuned for Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra review coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next video.